Hey guys, it's Maureen here and welcome to another video. In this upload, I thought I'd do a little paint along with me slash behind the scenes of how I create a piece and prepare them to be presented. When I was uploading the videos to be edited, I realized that some of them were ruined and I had to omit them out, which I wasn't too pleased about it as it had closed up details of the things that I wanted to share with you. Nevertheless, I am going to narrate them to the best of my ability. I've chosen to do an abstract light piece featuring some succulents that I saw in my local supermarket a few weeks ago. I've been seeing a lot of these cute plants in my Pinterest feed as well and whenever I pop into our local store for my grocery shopping. So that sort of got me inspired to do a piece about them. I start with preparing the rough sketch in my sketchbook and mentally work out how I want to place them. I always prefer to do this step instead of drawing directly on watercolor paper because if I were to do any changes, I am able to do so in my sketch instead of erasing it and causing the fibers of the watercolor paper to be compromised. This will surely affect the absorbency and presentation of the paper when I apply the watercolors. Once I am satisfied, I trace it onto my watercolor paper. Unfortunately, the videos for this part was ruined. <laughs> and I could not include it in this video. I had prepared a copy of this sketch if you would like to download it and paint it in your version. I will put the link to it in the description box below. The paper that I used is the Canson XL watercolor paper and it didn't really do a good job in terms of soaking up the water as the more I loaded it, the more it began to ripple up. If you can see carefully, the paper is slowly creating that wave-like appearance. However, this paper is fairly good if I'm working with pieces that do not require me to load so much water. I'm making the first layer of the background with a mix of sap green combined with yellow ochre and a little bit of Van Dyke brown. I did not exactly plan on the specific names of the colors that I will be using but rather I used more of my feeling on which colors that I feel like using and the ones that I already have left on my palette. Most of the time I work this way <laughs> and even if I were to specifically plan it out halfway through I will just change it again. It's just how things work for me. <laughs> to get that grainy snowflake look I added salt to create that effect. The trick here is to wait for the paper to be at least until 70 or 80 percent uh, almost dry and then that's where you go in with the salt. This here is the first layer already being completely dry and if you can see that initial ripple effect during the wetting stage has disappeared and I am able to work on the succulents now. I am re-wetting the surface of each plant and dropping in colors where I feel it will be the shadow part. I do this all at one go for all of them so that by the time I am at the last plant, the first one would have almost dried and I can go in with the additional colors. I'm adding a concentrated mix first 
and then spreading it out so that the color fans out. I did not bother to keep it confined inside the lines and being too rigid but rather allow it to flow in whichever direction it goes. It is more of an intuitive approach here and I really like it this way. Then I add in some reds mixed with hints of purple. The plant here is almost completely dried and I just go in with my smaller brush and drop in the paint. Basically, I had approached the rest of the succulents in the same manner, starting in the middle and working outwards on each petal. I made sure to leave a small gap in between them to show the separations of the sections. It creates this white space effect in between but it is not entirely white because I have the first layer of the background painted earlier on. So with the mix of the yellows and greens, it creates that subtle highlight that peeks through the gaps of the petals. I teach something similar but more in depth in my Skillshare class. If you are already a Skillshare member, do consider joining my class. And if you are new, please consider signing up for my class and get a 14-day free trial to its premium membership where it will grant you access to not only my class but hundreds of other creative classes as well. I will list the links in the description box below for your easy reference.
I really enjoyed painting this largest one here as by this time my paint has already had a mix of indigo and paints grey which gives me this rich green that I quite like. Sometimes nice surprises happen when you do not think so much about your mixes and which colours to use. One of the perks of going with your intuition. <laughs> I think most often we tend to override it with our logic, yes? The mind says something else and the heart says something else. <laughs> there are times when logic takes precedence over gut feelings, but when it comes to something creative and intuitive, more often going with your intuition is something that we should do with more confidence, I feel. <laughs> I'm just going in with another round of the reds to enhance the first layer of it. Watercolor's vibrancy dilutes when it dries, so it is always good to go in with additional applications. This is a close-up of the piece before I added in another layer of the background where I created the abstract effect. Again, this recording for this part was ruined and I could not include it in the video. But this is how it turned out. What I did was to re-wet the entire paper again and went in with another layer of the same set of colors that I used for the first layer of the background. I had scanned it and digitally enhanced its colors for its presentation. What do you think about this presentation? Does it look good? <laughs> you would like to paint along, I had prepared a copy of this sketch that you can download in my coffee shop. I will put the link in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for staying with me until the end. Until my next video, be well, stay safe, drink your water, take your vitamins and supplements <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.